We will solve the following exercise. The exercise is a number 2.11. A spherical storage tank is suspended from cables. The tank is subjected to three forces. The forces FA and FB exerted by the cables and its weight W. The weight of the tank is W equals 600 pounds. The vector sum of the forces acting on the tank equals zero. Graphically determine the magnitudes of FA and FB. Okay, as you can see right here, I have an spherical tank and there is three forces applied to it. These ones that come that comes from two two cables and the weight. Okay? With respect of an vertical line. You can see right here that I have 20 degrees and 20 degrees. One of the statement, I think that this is one of the principal ones. Tells me that FA plus FB plus W equals zero. What does it mean? Well, when I want to create a graphically sumatorial vectors, all I have to do is to do this, for example, using these two vectors. I'm going to move these vectors with one requirement. And that requirement that I have to meet is that the tail must be touching the head. Right? That's all. So you can see tail with head, tail with head. Then the result will be the connection between these two points. Uh, sorry. This magnitude is going to be the result, but there is going to be generated this vector the other way around. The head must be touching the head of one of the corner vectors, and the tail with the head with the tail of the other vector, right? So taking into account this, what is happening right here is that. For example, I have FA, right here I have W, and right here I have FB, right? The symmetry of these three is equal to zero because, as you can see right here, I do not have a space for me to create a resultant vector. These three vectors are connected with each other. So, what's left is there are they are telling me that right here W is equal okay I'm gonna change the size of this they're telling me that right here I have a VFA and W this magnitude is equal to 600 pounds And they are asking me for the magnitudes of FA and FB. Right? So FA, FB, W. Right here they are telling me the angle. So in this case. These two angles. Are the angle generated with a vertical with a vertical line so I can assume that because of this vertical right here I have for example FA and between these two this is equal to 20 degrees okay so the angle between FA and W is 20 degrees and the same thing goes for FB. Right, that's all I need. I'm going to start playing with trigonometrical identities for me to solve this exercise. And the first statement that I want to do is this one. I want to find this angle. I'm going to call it alpha, for example. And there is one statement that allows me to create an equation and find alpha easy. 
What does it mean is that the symmetry of the angles within a triangle is going to be equal to 180 degrees. That means that alpha is equal to 140 degrees. That's all I need. Once I have this, I want to make sure that I do not get confused. So this is the magnitude of FA and this is the magnitude of FB right here. And this is W, which is equal to 600. All right. So I'm going to create a science law. So this is pretty easy. I just have to take into account the magnitude and the opposite side. All right. So FA divided by the sine of 20 is equal to 600 divided to the sine of alpha in this case alpha is equal to 140 degrees and this is the same as having fb divided by the sine of 20. all right why is that because this part of the equation is coming from here as you can see I have the magnitude and the opposite side is this one the same goes for this part I have the magnitude and the opposite angle is alpha in this case and the same goes for this one right so what I can assume taking into account this equation is that FA and FB are equal Okay, so I just have to find FA, in this case I'm going to look for FA, because FA is equal to 600 divided by the sine of 140 multiplied by the sine of 20, okay. I've, I just took this part of the equation and I've sent this part which is dividing, multiplying the other side of the equation, okay. That's it. I put this on the calculator, which is 600 divided by the sine of 140 multiplied by the sine of 20 is equal to FA, that is equal to FB but I need the magnitude and that is equal to 319.2533 I always use four significant digits after the comma there is one way in which I can check that this answer is correct and this is by using a uh, software in this case I'm going to use Katiabi 5 remember that you have within the channel some different tutorials about this tool for you to learn how to use it okay what I have to do right here is to create the shape that we just did so that's actually all this is W this is F A and this is F B right this is equal to 600 And right here I have an angle of 20. And right here I have an angle of 20 as well. This is the resultant shape. And all I have to do is to measure these two values. Reference. reference right as you can see the answer is 319.253 it is not showing me all the numbers that comes after this tree because the software is approximating using just three significant digits after the comma right and that's all guys, this is how this exercise could be solved and checked.